The Kenya Agricultural Research Institute, Kari, is perched atop green rolling hills at Muguga near Kikuyu town in Kenya. This location houses the Trypanosomiasis Research Center, which was constructed by the Kenya government. The Trypanosomiasis Research Center is mandated to undertake research in Zeze and Trypanosomiasis and to develop technologies uh, that would help us to effectively control the disease. We sent uh, some of our staff to Slovakia and specifically to the Institute of Zoology, which is under the Slovak Academy for Sciences in Bratislava. And while there, they, they learned the technology of mass rearing of insects, including that as a fly. And uh, in learning this technology, they found another technology there. And this is the maggot uh, technology, which they also, we decided also to look into it to see whether it is, it could be beneficial to Kenya. Maggot therapy is the use of sterile maggots for the treatment of chronic wounds. It is a technology that is not new. Maggot therapy has been applied in over 20 countries as at now, with over 4,000 therapies using the technology. In Kenya, maggot therapy is new, and we are hoping that by introducing this particular therapy that we can be able to reach out to many people in the country who are suffering with the wounds that are not responding to antibiotic treatment. We have a, a very large wound burden in this country. We see wounds from uh, infectious diseases, from most of the life, lifestyle diseases as well, and also from the trauma. We are not able to, to treat all the patients, and we brainstorm all the time on ways and means of giving effective care. We already knew about maggot debridement therapy at Kenyatta National Hospital, University of Nairobi, but we had never used it at the hospital. So when they approached us, we were quite excited. The fly species that produces the maggots in this treatment method is called Lucilia sericata, or the green bottle fly. At Kari, the fly is bred by specially trained scientists in a facility that has been upgraded by Slovak Aid. They equipped the maggot therapy facility, allowing production of sterile maggots. These adult holding cages, uh, they can hold up to a thousand flies. And when they are seven to eight days old, we offer them a special substrate on which they lay the eggs. Those eggs, we process them either for production of sterile maggots or for continuation of the colony. We feed these flies on a mixture of sugar and yeast. We also offer them uh, water through this pipe. And if you ensure that they never run dry, they should stay alive for about one month. And they start producing eggs when they're about 10 days old. And under those conditions, they'll produce eggs every two to three days. To ensure that the eggs can be easily harvested from the cage, a petri dish containing a substrate is placed inside the cage for two hours. The flies deposit their eggs on the substrate, which is kept in darkened conditions. Now those eggs, when they are produced, once they are incubated, in 24 hours they emerge, and in another one week they start producing pupae and then the pupae start emerging after another one week. This cage has got larvae that are almost mature and they are going to start pupating, whereas next to it is a cage that has got pupae that have uh, matured completely and we are going to use them for starting a new colony. The larvae are maintained on a special diet of a mixture of liver and wheat bran in a ratio of one to one. The diet has to be kept moist, so you have to keep checking so that the, fly, that the larvae do not dry out. 
the maggots are reared under a strict regimen to ensure that the process is sterile from start to finish. The powdered egg yolk that is stored at minus 4 degrees is spooned into a beaker and covered with aluminium foil. It is then placed in the oven at 120 degrees Celsius for two hours. The maggot eggs from the fly cages are sterilized with 10% sodium hypochlorite and rinsed with distilled water. They are then placed on the sterilized egg yolk in a petri dish and put in the oven at 28 degrees Celsius for 24 hours for the eggs to hatch into maggots. After they hatch, the maggots are washed with distilled water. The maggots are then carefully counted out and packed into a bio sack. It is sealed and moistened with normal saline solution. The bio sack is then put in an envelope and placed in a cooler box lined with ice packs, ready to be transported to the hospital where they will be used to treat wounds. The maggots arrive at the Kenyatta National Hospital in Nairobi, Kenya's largest referral and teaching hospital. On this occasion, Dr. Kimani Wanjeri, one of the consulting surgeons and a co-investigator in the maggot debridement therapy project, is on hand to conduct Kenya's very first application of maggots to a patient's wound. So I'm going to clean the wound now with some saline. No, we need one. Ready for the application. I'm going to apply. Now I need to put a dressing on that. A fresh maggot sac is applied every three days until the wound is devoid of necrotic tissue. We are really hoping that the doctors can embrace this technology, the clinicians, the nurses can embrace this technology. We can work together to help the people in Kenya who need it. This is going to reduce the length of stay of hospital uh, for our patients. It's going to reduce the morbidity, that is the suffering, the general suffering that the patient uh, goes through, and ultimately also the mortality. And uh, it's also going to make it easier on us medical practitioners so that we, we are left to concentrate on the patients who need theatre time. This therapy is not only for use in humans. We intend to apply it also to the treatment of wounds in animals, our domestic animals, our livestock. And we think that uh, it's going to transform the way we manage wounds, both in animals and in humans in this country. And with the support of Kenya government, I think this is possible. And we are ready for it. <laughs>